Thousands of years ago, some of our prehistoric ancestors walked across a field in the modern nation of Tanzania and left footsteps that would last for millennia. Now they're part of the largest fossil footprint site ever found on the African continent. Footprints we make on a sandy beach can be washed away in minutes. But these, made in volcanic ash, have survived for thousands of years. Dr. Kevin Atala with Chatham University is working the site near the village of Ungare Cerro. When we found this site and found that it had more than 400 footprints preserved on it, we immediately knew that this was a pretty big deal. Big deal, I'd say. I mean, what has to happen in order for these footprints to be preserved? Well, these footprints, they were made in wet volcanic ash, and when that ash dried, it turned to something almost like concrete. The site, discovered by a member of the Maasai people back in 2006, is roughly the size of a tennis court. It contains 408 prints, estimated to have been made between 6,000 and 19,000 years ago. A big question, who made these footprints? We actually think that a group of them were made by 17 individuals who were traveling across the surface together. We estimate that within that group, there were probably 14 adult females, two adult males, and maybe one adolescent who were all traveling together. Is there anything you can tell us about why they happen to be taking that stroll that day? Where you tend to see this kind of group structure where you see many adult females walking together, traveling together in the absence of very many males or children is during foraging activities. And so when a group of adult women might go out to forage for food. And so that's been our guess. While it's incredible that it survived at all, the concern now is that the discovery doesn't lead to its destruction. We want to develop a plan with the Tanzanian government that we know can help to preserve this site for a very long time. It's been there for thousands of years. We would like for it to be there for thousands and thousands of more years, if that's possible. COVID hampering that a bit, but this is a project by the Smithsonian, Appalachia State uh, University, and uh, George Washington. So Chatham University and that scientist are doing a great job. Yeah, amazing what they've been able to preserve, what they were able to find.